This week, the University of Utah is hosting its 2025 Science and Engineering Fair. Fox 13 News photojournalist Manuel Rodriguez find, found out how students from elementary to high school are putting their education into practice. other people whose heart rates like stayed basically the exact same the whole time. So we just had them use like the social media that they have been using for like however much time they've had it. At 100 degrees Fahrenheit outside, in the doghouse it would be about 80 degrees Fahrenheit inside. Can I hear about what you each, what your favorite part was and what your hardest thing about the experience was? I have done all my research but I actually haven't gotten to that point. We're here for the University of Utah Science and Engineering Fair which is an annual competition each year for students in 5th through 12th grade. High school students participated on Tuesday, elementary students participated yesterday, and today we have students from junior high. Yeah. Labeled it as Group C. Then prepare the third experimental group by measuring a mixture comprising of 15% psilocytes, 15% biochar. Projects here are like insanely good. It's yeah, so interesting. and there's like a lot of people who clearly have like known a lot about this for like a long amount of time and are super passionate and that's like really intimidating to hear. Well, we had to do a new project because our original project got destroyed yeah. by my dog. Uh, you were project title is crawling to stress. Uh -huh. Okay, tell me a little bit about your project. Back in the olden days we had volcanoes and planets and dioramas and things like that but these students have actually done research and tested things for their projects. But I wanted to find more than just the basics. So I dug deeper into my project. I'm actually kind of shocked I'm here. Like, I feel proud of my project. I've, I worked like two months on my project and it just is very exciting and I'm very grateful for the opportunity I get to be here. I had each participant read, find a book or a book series that had the same reading difficulty level. So example, for the Harry Potter series, it doesn't get more difficult, it doesn't get less difficult, it stays consistent throughout the whole book series. A lot of the judges that we have come from the University of Utah. We have a handful that come from businesses in the Salt Lake area. STEM education is so important, especially now as things are changing in the world. These students are looking at how to make better soil, how to grow plants better. They're looking at cancer research. They're trying to find out ways that there's a student that did a project where her grandma couldn't bend down and plant seeds, so she created a device for her, for her grandma who's aging and loves to garden, to help her be able to do something she loves. I'm sorry, most of the of you watching this. Um, science is not my favorite subject. I'm actually very grateful that I did it. I'm very grateful for my science teacher that she was able to help me with everything. Without scientists, we can't predict storms, we can't predict the weather, we can't find cures for diseases. And these students are our next generation of scientists who will take care of me as I age and find things for my kids to do when their car doesn't work and how do we conserve fuel. There, I could go on endlessly for all the things why STEM education is so important for students.